Hello everybody, this is Raghu and I work as a quality manager in a multinational company in, in UAE and as I promised you in my earlier uh, videos that I will be coming out with videos on this channel called QHSE Concepts which will be you know very informative and we will cover try to cover things which are not usually covered by any other channel. <coughs> So today's topic is about the ISO 9001 uh, 2015 and its implementation across the companies. What we have seen as an experienced uh, internal and uh, lead auditor is that when ISO 9001 is implemented in a company, it's very nicely implemented in the top companies which are you know the top tier companies which we are seeing in, around the world. What happens is when the, once the uh, implementation is seen in the tier 2 and tier 3 companies which are usually the vendors of these companies that's when the, you know, the ISO 9001 is not implemented that <coughs> strongly and we have seen that you know this uh, is just a piece of paper they just take the ISO certification thinking that okay our client may ask and that's the reason we need to have this certification and that's the reason only. But no, it's not like that actually. <coughs> so, for this topic, you know, the example, the best example of human ingenuity is, I would like to give is of Ferrari. You know, the Ferrari car of 1950s and what you see today of 2020. There's a big difference, right? There's a huge difference. What they started with Enzo Ferrari started in 1950s and today's model, the specification, the size, the complexity, <clears throat> everything has been changed. And how did this change come about? I mean, why did this come about anyway? Why, do, why did they want to change their models, keep on changing it every twice, thrice a year, <clears throat> every three years or two years, once? Why do they do this? Why do they don't keep their product you know, as same, I mean, everybody knows that now Nokia phones died the natural death because they didn't invent or they didn't, uh, you know, do the continual improvement. So ISO 9001 is all about continual improvement. It's about human psychology. I mean, it's hum it's as human standard. I, if you take the example of all the standards that are out there available, ISO 9001 is as close to the human psych and philosophy as possible so it's about continual improvement what do you do how do you improve your product so you can act on customer complaints you can act on changes in the environment you can act in the you know to make it more and more powerful <clears throat> and you can act on so many things and improve your product so it can be within the organization design changes to come out with a product, better product. You can see other company competitors doing better than you, what they are doing. So all this goes into you know product or service and then improves it. So the improvement of the product or a service is paramount importance. And that's what whole drives the whole process of this industry. So one must understand this as a basic concept in their mind about ISO 9001. <clears throat> if you understand this as a concept, everything then falls into place and it becomes very easy to understand the standard itself. <clears throat> so ISO 9001, the most misused standard out there, you go and you just find out when you are doing an audit of the vendor, you will come to know. You will come to know what is on the uh, posted on the wall as a certificate and how they actually use those tools in the company Probably, you know, there is just a disconnect between the top management, what they want and what, how the implementation is done. So I lay this uh, blame at <clears throat> top management's door. If the top management of the company, owner of the company, or let's say board of directors, if they want to implement it properly, then this is the best tool available for to them. Nothing like this is available anywhere. It may, there may be other tools available, but <clears throat> most used widely accepted and internationally acclaimed standard an ISO 9001 quality management system is the only best tool it's very <clears throat> it's very cheap to implement it 
there are no you know, hi-fi things are required to do that and of course also the understanding is basic so it can be even you know the awareness can be spread about it very easily so as i said everything you know um, everything in the company naturally will uh, show towards the top management their involvement in this standard is paramount importance way back in 2008 when the standard was there the entire focus was on the quality management system was on the quality management representative so there is to be a quality guy and he used to be you know <clears throat> in charge of all this implementation of the various departments but then in 2015 they brought in leadership uh, and that to top leadership top management leadership and they said in that chapter what uh, you know the top management supposed to do and what is their attitude and what is their output of their uh, you know understanding of the standard should be and that was considered to be the <clears throat> new stepping stone in this direction for implementation so the top management involvement in the entire uh, you know uh, aspect is very important a this standard will uh, if you implement it properly it will cut down your cost and that any you know any owner or you know owner of the company would be like music to his ears ki are yaar kharcha kam ho raha hai ye iso standard implement karne se kaise kharcha kam hoga it is obvious that you implement this procedure properly things will happen in a controlled fashion you can predict the way it is happening in your company you know any product service is being made any department working those companies those departments will work in a controlled fashion because it will be guided by procedure it will be guided by the standard <clears throat> then there are many tools given in this uh, particular standard by using which the top management can get the data weekly data daily data week monthly data and they can understand what is exactly happening in various departments then there is a non conformity tool which you can use so whenever there is a problem or somebody finds something which needs to be improved they can raise an ncr an ncr document is then investigated properly by the quality and then it goes through the circle <clears throat> through the chain goes up to the super you know the top management and then they understand okay some incident happened and this is what action we took so this should not happen in the future so what it should be done so what are the trends if there are so many ncr raised on particular topic it will be an eye opener for any management that why design is getting a lot of uh, ncr why procurement is getting a lot of ncr that means means that there are certain lapses there and that top management can easily you know can rectify those and put certain things in place which we call corrective action which in later future it will not happen it will not repeat in fact it will go on improving so like ncr tool you have another tool which is called a lesson learned so <clears throat> there must be somebody who should be you know a top management's representative or top management can guide this and drive this himself saying that once in a month they can have a lesson learned session or once in a quarter they can have a lesson learned session where all the people bring various lessons that they learned in their departments and they discuss this and then they of course they discuss some things are converted into ncr and then logically it is converted into corrective actions or some are having some other way to implement can be looked into by the top management so lesson learned we discuss the ncr then comes the risk management any top management uh, of the any company risk management is paramount importance these days you know the risk uh, is uh, very live you can see that corona pandemic risk hit us badly and you can also see that the war in uh, russia ukraine also hit us and if you are uh, you know the company is not risk assessed properly and the mitigative steps are not taken it is obviously happening in the company owners mind always you know that there is this mentality of risk he knows only thing is it is not documented properly there where the quality department comes into picture and and there is some <coughs> you know things which can be implemented properly and over a period of time you can see a lot of changes in your company when you implement risk uh, management you if you are you know risk based approach if you keep that will help the organization a lot another uh, important tool in the iso 9001 is internal audit you know so you could have like 10 departments or five departments and you could choose you know each uh, internal auditor from this department and then do a cross department audit like for example design guy can go and audit pmt and the pmt can go and audit procurement 
procurement can go and audit someone else. So <clears throat> the way it functions, everyone knows how the company is functioning. And so he can go and find out why he's not acting this way. But they can read the procedures and, you know, get more awareness. And then they can do a very good audit. The audit itself is a very, you know, whatever I've mentioned here, the lesson learned system, the non-conformity non system, the internal audit system, all have, will have another uh, episode because they are big topics to discuss and 10 minute video won't suffice. So I'm hoping to bring out those videos and it will be very informative to you. And we will share certain examples because you know, just talking on this topic is not enough. We need to give you some examples to. <clears throat> so these are the tools which can transform any company. A company where internal audit is taken seriously, let me tell you that company, nobody can stop that such a company's advancement or transformation. Similarly, there are those tools which I said to you, if you use them, you know, in your company properly, I don't see any company doing any mistakes or you know, not learning from them or not transforming itself. So it's all about that. And you, you should always give quality, health and safety, a free hand, free thinking environment. And I'm pretty sure that the uh, departments uh, always understand what environment they are working in and they are working towards the you know, fulfillment of the company's <coughs> common goal set, set by the top management. So this, these are the topics, you know, which you know, ISO 9001 can be useful. Believe me, if you implement this properly, the company's cost will reduce drastically <coughs> and the top management can start individually monitoring this and they will know that cost, the way it has go, it will go down and make your organization profitable. There are many examples. It is proven fact that implementation of this can only help the company, you know, in turning around. If there is a loss making company, it can be resurrected. It can be turned around by these simple measures. And uh, there are many examples which have turned around. In fact, you know, <clears throat> when I was in uh, another company, which I was working as maritime shipyard, we had for some period of time implemented this and we had studied the you know the data and it, we found out that the way the costs were cut and the way the implementation helped the company it was a great success story so thank you very much for hearing today's uh, small video it's about 12 minutes time i must wrap up because no video can be longer and people don't have the sustaining power you know to <laughs> understand and you know that comprehend it's a very big topic in a very short time <clears throat> so Thank you very much. Quality uh, QHSE Concepts is a channel for all kinds, such a kind of quality and you know environmental impact and also the safety of the life. And this channel, you please watch and you please see and our videos. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm pretty hoping that that our team, which we are a team of four guys, and these videos you will like like anything. And then the best of us and the best of you will come out. So thank you very much, like and subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for your patience.